We are gathered together today to be witness to and celebrate the marriage of George and Kara. There are some words that traditionally come to mind when saying vows like support equals submit, <clears throat> obey, re respect, love, hold, and cherish one another. All these are very true meanings, meaningful words to describe <clears throat> our our respect, meaning, and meaning to one another. But most of all, it's honor. That sticks out to me. I'm honored to be all those to you. I'm honored to share my life, <clears throat> family, kids, grandkids with you. I'm honored to lay down and wake up beside you. And I'm honored for you to be our KK and my one and only true love. You have shown me what it feels like to be loved unconditionally. You've seen me at my best and at my worst, and you have loved me through it all. You have helped me find my confidence again. You quickly won over my family, even the toughest one. <laughs> you instantly fit in and became our Mr. Fix-It and our shoulder to lean on. You and the kids made me a part of the family. Maylin, Brooks, and soon another one, will make us grandparents, and, or should I say, Papa and KJ. I love your kind heart, your dedication to our families, your thoughtfulness, and your confidence, especially when singing the wrong words to songs in the car. It says, and so, as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, of kindness, of humility, gentleness, and patience, making allowance for each other's faults, and forgiving each other, whoever has a complaint against anyone. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you forgive each other. so excited to be here tonight and give you a little piece of our family whether you like it or not um, we have a little tradition in our family called the top 10 reasons why and tonight the why changes and apparently the number changes too because tonight we're doing the top 12 reasons Kara should marry George Kara found someone who loves his big family as much as she loves hers and he has Nana's stamp of approval. George is the unofficial mayor of Plant City. Together they're always helping others. They both love watching reality shows while snuggling on the couch with the dogs. Kara always loved the outdoors, but she never thought she'd be herding pigs, which is surprisingly easier than herding fourth graders. They make a great team. He brings the calm and she brings the sass. George shares Kara's love of music and he breaks into dance when the song hits just right. He's your partner in crime. Their adventures never end. From cruises to North Carolina to Dollywood, they'll spend the rest of their lives exploring the world. For so long, it seems as if a piece of my dad has been missing. I feel as if Kara is that piece that completes him. The happiness, love, and positivity radiates from him, and for that, I'm forever grateful. George and Kara, for as much as you have now entered into the covenant of marriage according to the teachings of Scripture and according to the laws of the state, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now declare that you are husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no one separate. George, you may kiss your bride. 